a good reason to actually go into the deeper layers of things and not just stay on the superficial is the deeper you go, the less you have to manage all of these seemingly separate parts. And the more you can just do a few basic things consistently that take care of the whole. So if life is like a tree and the cause and effect process of what you reap and what you sow is kind of like the way the roots travel up the trunk and then become branches, a lot of people don't know what's happening at the roots and through the trunk. And so they're so focused on the superficialities of the fruit that they're getting at the end, they're managing a thousand different things. And though there are multiple things to manage and though sometimes life does just ask us to perform a series of small tasks, most often it's more about the focus that we uphold through the years. What rituals do you have that you've kept for years? That's kind of what's going to dictate the direction of your life. So understanding why things happen enables you to zero in on the parts that you really, really have to look after. If something's worth doing, then you better do it every day. And find a way to do it every day that is sustainable. So training, for example, doesn't have to be done to your absolute max all the time. It's better... And you can ask a lot of people who've been doing it for a very long time, the healthy people, the happy people, the strong people, the OGs. Most of these people do something every day, but they don't go to their absolute capacity. They make it repeatable. They protect their relationship with showing up so that they want to do it again tomorrow most of the time. And the times when they don't want to, they have discipline, but they're definitely using that motivation and that positive relationship and reward feedback system to help. Same goes with anything really. Creating the consistency in the relationship with the thing is more important than worrying about the micro details. The relationship is like the trunk of the tree. It's what holds everything together. The roots of the tree are the things which feed you to input into that consistency. And these are our basic human needs. No matter what the tree is, no matter what peak you're looking for in life, what your goal is, you have to feed yourself through the root system. Your needs are the same. Food, sleep, shelter, social connection, stuff like that. And then how we grow is up to us, but it's always an offshoot of that root system. And we can decide where we want to wind with what our goal is. But focusing on the primary layers that feed us. How cool is this? Winding. And not getting lost up the top of the tree, chasing the fruits, striving for heights that we don't have the root system to meet or the consistency or the positive relationships to build. It's a waste of time. And yet that's the thing that you'll see most people doing. They'll be chasing the product or the end result almost invariably. We think we want money. Here's a good example, right? Because surely everyone needs money. But what is money? Money is just an IOU. It's a form of trust. It's agreed upon currency. But it comes from being part of a system where other human beings know you and can give you something in exchange for something you do. So money isn't even the root of money. The root of money is relationships. It's back down the root of the tree again. So be wary of when you start to think that the base layer of something, uh, well, be wary of misunderstanding what the base layer really is and chasing things you don't need and neglecting the fundamental parts that make up that thing.